child rape by police is a deeply disturbing and heinous crime that not only violates the victim, but also breaches the trust placed in law enforcement authorities. Cases involving such crimes can have profound and long-lasting impacts on victims, their families, and communities. These incidents often lead to calls for stringent accountability, reform in police practices, and enhanced measures to protect vulnerable individuals. From cop to convicted felon, tonight only WLWT has body camera footage that led to a former Seaman police officer getting arrested. Yeah, it turns out the footage is from his own body camera that he actually never shot off. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson's been digging into the case for the past year or so, and she has the public records that explain exactly what happened. Hi, Karen. Well, hey, Mike, this body camera that you're about to see sparked the investigation. The Seaman police chief at the time was conducting an audit and saw footage that concerned him. It led to former officer James Stokes Sr. being placed on leave. He was then indicted and just recently pleaded guilty to theft in office and unauthorized use of a police database system. James Stokes Sr. heard talking on the phone. You're the one playing that don't never show up, mother freaker. In between sending texts. He's on duty at the time. I'm on patrol. Where am I supposed to be? Working the road for the Seaman Police Department. His shift seems to take an unusual turn after stopping to talk to a man he knows and who he allowed to drive his personal truck. I have some of them. I got any underwear on. Stokes is heard making sexual comments to the man. You can give me five minutes. Let me play with you for five minutes. Stokes asks the man to meet him at the police department. I think that Missouri is roll up. I don't deserve it. Okay, I guess I don't deserve it, so I'm going to go file unauthorized use of motor vehicle on you. And also threatens to turn the man in for driving without a license, a comment that's made a second time. What time you come into my place for alone time, and if I don't get alone time tonight, I swear to God, I will file a charge on you and I'll have your butt arrested. The two eventually end up at the police department. Once inside, Stokes makes more sexual comments. Oh my God, strip down. The man seems reluctant to engage in Stokes' advances. We'll get together or not. It's not clear what happened after the body camera was taken off, but still rolling. When questioned by BCI agents, the man told them Stokes was obsessed with him and the relationship wasn't sexual. Stokes answers a little different. Did you have a sexual relationship with him on that day? Yeah. In the investigation revealed Stokes used a police database to search the man's personal information and while on duty he left the village to meet the man 15 to 20 minutes away at a pawn shop that led to the theft in office conviction. Stokes is currently serving 180 days in a county jail. He was also sentenced to three years probation, community service and a $2,000 fine. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians, but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now, when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight and accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency 
and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant. Thank you.